Why do you hate the Miz so much? You don't even know why you hate this shit. YouTube, what's going on? Solution for the Solution Kicks. Back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap the notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And you too can be a part of the Mighty Four Kicks Brigade. It's been a long time since I left you without a strong vlog for you to step to. And I'm talking about the Rakimverse, not the Timberland Hook. Okay, but anyway, enough of the corniness. We're going to talk about some sneakers I got right here. Okay, some sneakers right here. In, in the iconic black and gold Jumpman box. So you might have an inkling what I'm talking about here. This is part two, everyone, of why do you hate mids? You don't know why you hate mids. And guess why? I have proof to show that most of you are just talking because it's just a thing to say to hate mids. So to rehash something I said and something I covered from way back in early 2019 when that video took off, it's on its way to 70K views. Every so often I get people on air that want to pop off and talk crazy and all this stuff, but you never get seen because you're using inappropriate language because you lack the intellectual ability to debate or put out a valid counterpoint in a very uh, professional manner. And because of that, that will not hit the discussion. Stop cursing. Stop being disrespectful. We're trying to be disrespectful. So therefore, I've addressed you just that one time and one time only. You know we don't do that here on this channel. It's always going to be respectful. We can agree to disagree, but we will not attack one another. There's a lot of platforms out there that you can engage in that trolling type behavior. And this ain't it. All right. So point one, you still don't know why you hate mids, but somebody's buying mids. They're being purchased. I know I buy mids. Y'all you know, know that I am Mr. Midlife Crisis. We know that. I stand by that. And with that being said, if I find a dope mid, I'm going to purchase it. Hands down, flat out. No reason to question anything like that. I like what I like, and it's my money. You're not going to tell me what to buy. However, there's an element that engage in that behavior. You aren't buying mids because people are telling you not to buy mids. Because popular people are gonna make fun of you if you buy mids because they don't like mids and they don't know why they don't like mids. Or why don't you empower yourself and don't hmm. need them and do it yourself? But being that I'm objective and I approach things from both sides of the dollar and both sides of the fence, I will say, historically, up until now, up until the last year in a few months, Mids did not come with good quality materials. They were cheaper for a reason. But Jordan Brand said, uh, they still buy them. We had to do something to them. However, let's keep it moving. Point two, the price point. The ignorant will say, oh, those are broke boy shoes. But you're out here talking about money and what people should buy, but you won't buy them anything. Will you? That's rhetorical. Don't don't answer that. Don't answer that. You won't even buy them this cheap $90 shoe. Okay? You won't even do that. This $110 shoe. This $130 shoe, $125 shoe, if it's a special edition model with better materials. Now the third point is you're just following the hype train. Like I said, elitism. Elitism. I'm betting you because I only wear OG highs and you wear mids. But guess what, people? And I got a video coming up real soon about this. You can have all the limited sneakers you want, but you better know how to dress. And some of you can't. I've seen the pictures, all right? So stop it. Only thing you have are limited sneakers. That's it. What you look like, you crawled out of a trash bag and that's okay I said how about me I've seen your pictures okay I've seen it and guess what you can look dope on a budget but some of you go NASCAR and slap labels all over me like this I'm fly because I got 50 11 labels on like a race car but let's talk about some of the mids that kind of expose you all yet again but wait a minute so right here I have another mid that was approached 
with a little hype. We have the Incredible Hulk Jordan 1 Mid right here. And you say, why the Incredible Hulk? Well, purple and green. Synonymous with the Hulk's colors, you know. Green Hulk, purple pants. And they also said the Joker, which I could go for as well. Shout out to my dude Sam Soul. He had posted a picture of the Joker as well. But I love the Hulk. The Hulk is my favorite Marvel, actually of all the uh, action heroes, he's my favorite. He's very polarizing, very enigmatic, you know, like me. That's why I like the Hulk. Plus, um, you want to see me if I get mad and it takes me a long time for me to get mad. I don't let people bother me. But if you do, don't even worry about it. So this was a little hyped up and it's doing really well. It's selling, not selling out, but it is selling. People are buying these. I see these quite a bit. I've seen these posted several times. So you got the Incredible Hulk Mini. And as we do this, we just wanna put them down to the side because I need to put these back on the shelf someplace. And next up, we aren't gonna talk about that one because that's the home run hitter right there. We're gonna try to get this triple out of the way. This is the one that kind of started it right here. And y'all know I have several, several mids that are um, really dope. I have the pine greens, I have the metallics, I have the top three, um, I have the uh, rival pack one pair. I, I have a lot of those out there. And um, the only ones I did not start to collect was the fearless pack. That's what really exposed you all. The fearless pack dropped um, late 2019, you had the blue, the gray, you had the one with the watch on them, those, 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 and those. And I like them. However, a lot of those were intended for women and guys were buying them too. Like I said, you're buying mids, stand up, stand up. Now, shout out to 313 Retro Queen. She posts her mids all the time, dope. But then you have people who only post the mids because they're hyped up. Now, if you just got me, and she has mids in her collection, by the way, I've seen them, okay? She always see the pictures that she posts. She is true to it, but she decided to go after those pairs as well. Now, those of you who only go after the hype mids, you don't, you, you can't talk right now. Don't talk, because you're the ones I'm talking to right now. Don't lie, don't lie. If you only go after the hype mids, just, you're exactly who I'm, yeah, this is about you, okay? <laughs> so the latest mid to drop, that's exposing people is this one right here. The mid Chicago toe. The mid Chicago black toe. The mid Chicago, don't call them that because they're mids. Some of you have videos out here, Instagram posts, Twitter posts, Facebook posts, bashing the sneaker because you feel like, won't you just give us a Chicago? Well, the Chicago is coming, people. And here's the cool thing about mids. Do you know Jordan Brand kind of trolls us? You might, can kind of, you kind of can tell what's coming because they do little kind of sorters from time to time. They include a mid as kind of like a pack, if you will. So when the Concourse dropped, you had the Concord mids, the black and purple ones, but nobody wanted to call them Concord, but the box clue says Concord on it. I have a pair of those. Those are very dope. But like I said, gotta know how to dress to pull stuff off. If not, you're just gonna hate it because you're ready to be accepted. Somebody look down at your shoe and the rest of your outfit is trash, okay? But these right here are gaining a lot of fanfare. People are buying these, they're doubling up on them. And here's why. They're customizing them, but it's really not a customization, they're modified. What they're doing is creating a Chicago mid by painting the toe cap, or well, the toe box right here, white, all right? And I can't remember your name. I just watched the video earlier. That was a, a dope, dope video he did. And um, I'm probably gonna try to cop another pair and do the same thing. To me, that's more of a modification because he really didn't change the total aesthetic of the shoe, the total look of the shoe, but that's my opinion. I'm not bashing them by any way, but y'all know I do modifications. I don't change the entire look of the shoe. I'll change one part of the shoe to my liking. You know, I did that with the Jordan 11 Airs. You know, I, I did that with those um, black satin um, ones that dropped. So yeah, I modified them. I changed like one thing on them because I don't consider myself a customizer by any stretch, but he says it's a customization and so be it. All right.
But if I would have done that, I would have said it was a modification. He says customization, hey, it is with exactly what that is for him. And I'm not dissing that man because that's dope and I'm gonna try to do that myself. It's not too hard, um, not too complicated, but this sneaker right here has been stocked and restocked and selling out and people are now doing videos on it because they noticed it. All right, you can't go wrong with a black, white, black, white and red Jordan 1, you can't. Um, I mean, we talked smacked about the bloodlines and they sold really well. They restocked several, several times. It was a massive GR and people were still buying them and people were still modifying them. They're still customizing them. And guess what? It's a good quality sneaker, okay? It has a lot of high quality uh, materials on there. The Jim Reds, people had things to say about the Jim Reds, but they sold, they sold really well. They restock them from time to time because people like them. You know, you can't go wrong. And they have beaten this up with this colorway, but then they dropped it on a mid. And guess what? This is not the first time they came out with something like this. They've done this before. And um, actually I have a version. So this kind of sort of Chicago right here, I've had since 2014. And um, it was becoming a beater. It's one of my favorite mids out of my collection. Like I said, I have a lot of these. And this was a, a nice variation of it. So they basically like flipped it around completely. And this is what they came up with. And these sold pretty well as well. One thing people didn't like was this nylon portion right here. And like I told you, I wore these in the rain. I kind of messed them up. I wasn't into my sneakers as much back then in 2014. I was just buying what I like, as you should actually. I wasn't collecting anything like that, but this is a really, really dope sneaker. And I've managed to take care of it fairly well, considering the age of it. And of course it creases, but you know, that's the big thing about mids. But once again, these, these uh, limited mids that have dropped, the, the Milans, the um, Blue the Grapes and things. I actually could have gotten the Blue the Grapes, but I was taking a trip and I was like, you know something? I'm spending that money on my trip. I'm good. They were a shoe pile. It's kind of chilling there for a little bit. Then they flew off the shelf once people realized what they were. But the Tyler Fields, Fields pack has done really well. Um, even the resellers have jumped on it. So, mm, you're not above selling them though. <laughs> and they're dope, especially the ones that target the women. The women, oh my goodness, the, the, the fearless pack that was targeting the women was dope. From the, the watch, from the fur, to the uh, the half, the purple, I forgot, the something Rashid, the purple and gray ones, that, that was dope. They did a lot of great things with the mid because Jordan Brand saw that this is a very viable sneaker. People are buying this, but they're kind of like, yeah, I bought some mids. Maybe people will like them. So they start slapping these collaborations on there, then people start jumping on it. Like, oh, I probably could sell these if I don't like them, all right? So if you go and check your StockX and your GOATs, you're gonna see some of the prices for these mids, and it shows you that, yeah, they're in demand. So stop it. This is the last time I'm gonna address this because some of you are just so fake about this, all right? If you can sell it, you like it. If it's a little bit of them, it's limited, you like it. Matter of fact, you love it. But if it's something you can just regularly go out and get, you got a problem with it. It's just a sneaker. Stop worrying about what other people's wearing. Worry about yourself. All right, you, you're taking the time out of your day to go, oh, those are trash. What are you gonna do about it? Bomb something that's not trash? You don't do nothing but talk. Yeah, they, they, those are crap, those are cheap. Why do you got those broke boy sneakers? Yeah, well guess what? Buy me a pair. If you want me to have some Ballin' do sneakers, buy me a pair. Buy me something limited since you're so concerned. And to my teenagers in high school who drop down in the comments and they say, hey, I really like those. I'm thinking about getting a pair, but they're gonna roast me in high school. I'm going to be the big cool uncle for you for a second. The moment you live your life trying to appeal to people is the moment you stop living your life. Understand me? It's about you. This is your money. This is how you feel about yourself. Stop trying to be accepted, okay? Let me tell you something. Friends in high school do very little for you academically. All right? I can tell you that. They do very little for you academically. So stop worrying about stuff like that. The goal is to reach my age and be able to talk about it. You're not gonna be young forever, sorry. But I'm out of here and stop worrying about people who say you like the shoe, Bye.
once again, I'm not concerned about another person's money. Y'all know what I'm saying? Unless I gave it to you, helped you make it, or I took it from you, or I'm about to take it from you. And like I always say, it's not about how much you paid for the sneaker. So why'd you pay that much and I'm out of here? Boom.